Senator Graham, uh, most countries in the world do not have birthright citizenship. Probably uh, for a good reason. Why do you think Governor Pataki is wrong? Well, let's talk about immigration. Number one, I like Rick. I don't remember the Santorum plan when I was in the Senate. The peanut gallery on this is interesting. I have been trying to solve this problem for a decade. There are no Democrats here tonight. If you're here, raise your hand. You went to the wrong, well, welcome. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, was that the bottom line, I'm that? trying to fix the problem. We're not going to deport 11 million people here illegally, but we will start with felons and off they go. As to the rest, you can stay, but you've got to learn our language. I don't speak it very well, but look how far I've come. Speaking English is a good thing. You've got to pay taxes. You've got to pay a fine. You've got to get back in line. You've got to secure your border. They'll keep coming. If you don't control who gets a job, it never ends. We've got two borders, one with Canadian, Canada, one with Mexico. I've never met an illegal Canadian. This is an economic problem. So, folks, let's solve it. Amnesty is doing nothing, and that's what we've been doing as to birthright citizenship. Once we clean up this mess, in the future, prospectively, I'm willing to look at the following. There are people buying tourist visas mm -hmm. that go to resorts with maternity wards for the express purpose of having a child here in America. They're rich Asians. They're rich people from the Mideast. Thank you, Senator. That, to me, is bastardizing citizenship. Thank you, yeah, Senator. Yeah, I'd like to stop that in the future. Governor Pradak, oh, I just, I just want to, I just, we'll come back to you, uh, Senator Santorum, I promise. mentioned my name and that I didn't have a plan. And the fact of the matter oh, is all right. that I did have a plan. Back in 2006, I introduced a plan called a Comprehensive Border Security Bill, which did, in fact, uh, put uh, the resources to build the fencing and, mm. and, and deploy the troops and the technology necessary. What did you do with the to, 11 million? Uh, th th as you know, Lindsay, what are you going to do with as, the 11 million? As you know, 40 to 60 percent of the 11 million are here on visa overstays. We know exactly who they are. We should know where they are, but we have a government that doesn't tell them to return home. You can solve half of the problem with the 11 million what by about simply the telling. Half? by simply telling the 11 million that they have to return to their country of origin. So that's half your problem. How many Democrats now, now supported your plan? Anymore. How many Democrats did you have on your bill? I, I don't know how many Democrats I, I had on my bill. I can tell you none. But the, the, point is, it was, uh, it, the point is that I had a bill. And that that went been, nowhere. And I, well, you're right, Lindsay. It went nowhere because we had a president back then who was uh, for more comprehensive immigration reform George than I George W. Was. Bush. That's right. Who won with Hispanics. You know what we need to Compared do, to Lindsay, is we need, we, need to win, we need to win fighting for Americans. We need to win fighting for the workers Hispanics in this country who are hurting, including are Hispanics. Americans. The people who are hurt the most by illegal immigration are Hispanics. In my world, the, Hispanics the, the, the are folks, Americans. The folks, who, uh, the folks who are hurt the worst are recent immigrants. By illegal immigrants coming to this country, last year alone, 700,000 illegal immigrants came into this country. Who do you think are most impacted? It's the folks who are, came into this country, played by the rules, did what they were supposed to do, came here and went to work, and now they're finding themselves out of work because someone illegally is willing to come in and work for less. I have a little different take on where the country is going on this issue. Number one, in 1950, there were 16 workers for every retiree. How many are there today? There's three. In 20 years, there's going to be two. And you're going to have 80 million baby boomers like me retire in mass, wanting a Social Security check and the Medicare bills paid. We're going to need more legal immigration. Let's just make it logical. Let's pick people from all over the world on our terms, not just somebody from Mexico. Let's create a rational legal immigration system because we have a declining workforce. Thank you, Senator. Tom Thurman had four kids after he's 67. Uh, uh, uh. If you're not willing to do that, we better come up with a new <laughs> legal immigration system. Thank you, Senator. <laughs> Governor Pataki, I want to let you have the final word want, here. I just want to say, I just want to say, I have seven kids. I've done my part. Oh,